Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time zone you're in. Glad to have you here. On this coaching call today, we're going to talk all about email sequences. Great day, and we are full, so do not downsize, do not log out, or you will get kicked out of this. I want to make sure you can hear me. So if you don't mind, put in the comments if you can hear me. Uh, it would be cool if you put where you're from and your time zone. All that stuff really interests me. So I'd love to see that. So just go ahead and type over there. There's a little comment section. If you would just type in there if you can hear me. I want to make sure I'm being heard. And I know there's a little bit of a lag here, so I'll just keep talking until we see somebody pop in there. And I'm joined with Jessica, the beautiful and talented Jessica. Would you like to say hello to everybody today? Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Thanks for being here today. Today is Friday. It looks like October the 18th, not November. It's October. Yeah, it's yeah there's a little inside joke there for us on yogurt, and I can't tell you about it. Um, so, guys, do me a favor. If you are hearing me, please post in that comment section there. It looks like Andrea is in Italy, uh, uh, can hear me, and it looks like Marcus in Pensacola, Florida. I'm going to be in Orlando soon, as a matter of fact. I'm going to be down there for the Guerrilla Marketing Convention. So that's going to be kind of cool. I'll be speaking at that. And who else we got in there, Jessica? Looks like we've got Tony is in New York State. It looks like Albany, upstate New York. Uh, we've got Jennifer, who is actually in Los Angeles, not too far from us. I was there last week at a YouTube meeting. Uh, and guys, don't forget, put, put your comments in there. Who do you got, Jessica? Who do you see? Who do you see? Uh, you've got Mohammed in Egypt. Mohammed in Egypt is in there. Uh, and all these won't show up in your comments, guys. So don't don't think you're not or don't think you're seeing everything you won't. Um, we have that kind of filtered. Uh, who else is in there? Uh, you've got Jeff in Orlando. Jeff in Orlando. Jeff, I'm going to be in Orlando. I'll be there speaking at the um, Guerrilla Marketing Convention. So, yeah, I'll be there. That's a cool place. I'll be there on the 1st, I think, of November. Who else we got in there? You've got Karen in Minnesota. Karen in Minnesota. You had to think for a second, didn't you? Yeah. And I was like, you came up with that. I don't know about <laughs> that. I don't know about that stuff. Okay, so let's get started, guys. We're going to jump right into this. Secrets to build automated profitable email sequences in Kartra. Now, why did I pick Kartra? Well, I'm going to give you some reasons for it in just a second. Now, I'm not saying you can't build this someplace else. I'm just saying if you build this someplace else, it's going to cost you more money. And it won't be as effective because of what Kartra can do. And I'll explain all that to you in just a second. But we're actually going to look at one of my sequences, and then I'm going to show you how to build one. So at the end of this training today, you're going to know how to do this. So if you feared this before, if you were worried about doing automations, you're going to watch this, and you're going to go, oh, my God, I'm an expert. So at the end of today, you're going to be an expert. And I'll go over any questions you may have. So start kind of putting those questions together now about you know stuff that you want to know about. And if I don't cover it in this training, then of course I want you to ask me. It's really important that you do that. So why Kartra? What is Kartra? Well, Kartra does so many things, and I just want to list a few of them. It's the only complete all-in-one digital marketing software available, period. And I mean period. There's no other software out there that compares to Kartra. And Kartra is cheaper than most of the ones that are out there. So why you wouldn't use that, I don't know. Now I'm going to give you a link where you can actually get it for $1 and try it out. And once you try it out, believe me, you're not going to go to any other thing again because everything you need to do digital marketing-wise online is built into Kartra, everything. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So um, wouldn't you rather log into one place? I mean, if, you, if you've got like Infusionsoft or Aweber and then you've got ClickFunnels and then you've got all these other things and you're logging in and you're paying all these people, why would you do that? Wouldn't you rather log in in one place, do everything in one place? The answer's got to be yes, a resounding yes. So you'd have to get Kartra. And I'm going to show you how to get it for a dollar in this training today too. It does all of these. Okay, it's going to be an email provider for you. So when you send out your emails to your list and you have them all tagged and all that stuff, it'll do that for you. It'll also make your funnels. So if you're using click funnels or something similar to that or you're building them on your own, this will make them for you. You don't have to do that anymore. Um, if you need landing pages where you're sending traffic to or people to, it will do that for you. If you need upsells and downsells, so if you're you know, selling a product and you want to add another product to it, it'll do that for you. If you need credit card processing, 
it will do that for you. Now you're going to have to have a Stripe account or an authorized.net or something to integrate, but everything will be processed there. It also gives you a free SSL, so you don't have to pay for that. It's also a calendar and scheduler, and that integrates with all your stuff in here too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it also does video hosting, which no platform does. Um, anytime you're building a sales page or anything like that, we always have to use like, you know, YouTube or Wistia or something like that to host the video. You don't have to. And the cool thing about hosting the video in Kartra is that you're going to know how far they watched your video. You're going to know like where the conversion points are, where people are dropping off. And you couldn't do that before. And what you can actually do is tie a sequence to it. So let's say, you know, your offer is at, you know, five minutes on your video and people dropped off at four minutes. You could send them a sequence that actually explain to them that, you know, they need to go back and watch this video because they missed something special. So you could actually just send that out to those people who dropped off before your offer came out. It'll also do email sequences, which I'm going to show you today. We're going to actually build one of those today. Uh, in addition to that, it has help desk. So, and I don't mean for you to get help, which it does have that too, but you can set up a help desk for your consumers so that when they go to a page, they can click on the help desk, put in a, you know, message about what they need help with, and it'll automatically send you an email and let you know that uh, you have a help desk ticket. That's all free. That's included. Uh, it also has a form builder in there. You can build all your forms. Everything's all set up for you. It also has a membership site in there. So if you have membership sites, which you, I never thought I would need one, I don't think Jessica did either, and we both have them now. So, you know, that's, that's something that just grows out of your business. And it also has an affiliate site, just like ClickBank does. So it's got all of that, man, uh, and probably a lot more that I've missed. But this is all included in one software. So I'm at my uh, panel here in Carter, and I, I shot this quick video to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and get into this. And don't worry, I'm, I know people are asking about that link um, for Kartra. Uh, I'm going to give that to you at the end today so you can get it for one dollar. But let me just show you what it does first. OK, so I'm here at Kartra right now. What I what I did is when you log in, you'll be on this main page. I went over to communications here. OK, OK, so we're going to go over to communications once we've got in here and we're going to go to sequences. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a sequence that's already running here. Um, here's one for Facebook Ads University. And this particular one's got forty six hundred people in it. So we're going to go ahead and edit that one. And we're going to click edit. Now, this was a promo that we ran for my Facebook ads course. Great course, by the way. You ought to check it out. <laughs> um, and let me get this out of the way here. This, this here is your sidebar, and you can just move it out of the way if you want. So the way it starts off is it's got several different decisions all through here, as you can see. But I want to kind of explain them to you because it looks complicated, but it's really not. So the first thing you're going to have is a starting rule here. So we're going to edit this. The starting rule for this particular one here was JRF DCA sales sequence. Okay, so once they've completed that sequence, they're going to go to this sequence. So the way we have it set up is they run through this sequence first, and then they're going to come to this one. So I'll go ahead and save that because we don't want to mess anything up in here. Now, once that happens, they're going to go to this box here. So let's go to this box, and this is called a split. Now, in the split here, it says, I want to run this right after the previous step. I want to run it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. As you can see, any time of day, it just runs. Now, the condition is, if they have the tag inner circle buyer or have this tag Facebook Ads University purchaser, okay, then let me go ahead and do it. Uh, if they have either one of those tags, it's going to split them. If, if it's true, then what it's going to do is it's going to unsubscribe them from the sequence because these people here already bought what we're trying to sell, so we don't want to keep sending them an email on it. But if it's false, if it doesn't have one of those tags, then they're going to go to this here immediately after there's going to be an email. So let's take a look at that. And it's going to run this email right after the previous step. It's going to run it every single day of the week. And it's going to run it between three or 1300 PM and 1359 PM. That's the time we've been set. The communication is called Facebook Edge University promo 2019. Uh, the gateway it's going to use, this is the email address that if they were to respond to this, that's where it would go to the recipients is does not have tag F 
FAU purchaser because this sequence is actually selling in this course here. So don't we want we don't want to you know send it to somebody who's already bought the course. We're not split testing it, but this is the email here. So if we go into the email, we can take a look at it real quick. We'll click on edit. This is the actual email. Lots of folks have asked me it was one question over the years. If you had to start all over again with no lists and nobody uh, knew you, what would you do? So it goes through this thing here and it's an email and they can click here and they can actually join. So let's go ahead and close this one. And I'm going to actually show you how to build this too, but I just want to show you how this works. Okay, so they're going to go through this one here, and then it's going to go down here, and then there's another split. Let's see what the split is. And the split generally is asking, did they buy whatever it was? So it says here, did they have the tag Facebook ads university purchaser? Because if they do, I don't want to send them the next email, right? That would be irritating if you bought it and I kept saying buy this. So there's the split, and if we look at it, it says if it's false, okay, uh, then we're going to send this promo. But if it's true, we're going to go ahead and complete it. So we're going to say, hey, don't send them any more emails if they've already purchased. That would be silly. But if they haven't purchased, they're going to get this promo email here. And we're going to go to edit. And then this one here comes right after the previous step, runs every single day of the week at this particular time. This is your promo email too. This is the email address they respond to. Uh, recipients or anyone reaching the step. Um, we don't have a split test on here. And then here's the email. And we can open that up. And here's the email. I've got a little picture in here now. Facebook ads revealed. Uh, okay. So this kind of gives them the information. And of course, they can click here if they want to sign up. And then we don't have to send them any more emails if they sign up, right? Uh, and I, I put their name in here. If you notice in Kartra, you can actually insert their name off to the side. You're going to see these dynamic variables. And all a dynamic variable is, is it changes according to whatever I put in here. So if I put first underscore name and their name is inside Kartra, it's going to insert their name there. That's why you see, hey, first name here. Now, if there is no name whatsoever, it will just say, hey, and comma. So there won't be anything here. It won't say, hey, first name. There won't be anything there, so you don't have to worry about that. And there's a lot of different dynamic um, variables here. you got first name, last name, email, date join, phone country code, phone, IP address, postal code, city, state. So we can put a whole lot of different things in here to make this seem a little bit more personal if we want. And we'll go ahead and we'll close this. All right. And then what happens after they go through this email? Guess what? Uh, a day later, and we set this one day later, it's going to split it again. And the split's going to be, you know, and we'll look at it real quick. I'll just show you if they purchased or not. So do they have the tag FAU purchaser? If they don't have the tag, then they're going to go through the sequence. If they do have the tag, it completes it once again. So then we go to this email right here, and we click edit. And this is the third email they're getting now. This is day three. It's going to run every single day, same time, right after the a previous step. Anyone reaching this step. Uh, and then, of course, here's your email right here. And then there's the email. Okay? And it sends them that email right there. All righty. Okay, so we're going to close that. And then what does it do? And ask the question once again. I bet you know what the question is. The question is, do they have the tag FAU purchaser? There it is. If they don't have the tag, they're going to go into another sequence. If it's false, they're going to go into the sequence. If it's true, they did buy it, then they will be taken out and they don't have to see the next email. So they go to promo email four right here. And let's get over here and edit it. There we go. So once again, right after the previous step, runs at the same time of day. And then it says, do not open unless you want profitable Facebook ads. So that's the headline for this one here. Do not open unless you want profitable Facebook ads. Uh, last chance to catch JR live Facebook ads training. So it's asking them to go to the training right here. And that's pretty much all the sequences. This is a pretty short sequence. Some of these can get very long. Sometimes in the last day, you may send them three or four emails to you know, remind them of different things. So now that we've seen what one looks like, let's go ahead and actually build one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to sequences. I'm already, make sure you're on this tab here. You're not on broadcast. You're not on automations. I'm on sequences. And I'm going to click sequence. Okay. So we're going to put in here, uh, enter circle test 
Okay, we'll just call it inner circle tests. Uh, same thing here. Inner circle test. And we're going to create it. All right. So as you see, I've got a blank slate here now. So we need to decide, first off, what is going to start this? What, what is it that's going to make this whole thing happen? So I'm going to click here. And we're going to say it's going to be a tag. Okay, so it's going to what it does when you do this is it looks at every name in your entire list, everything you got out there. And if they have this tag, then it's going to start this form. So we're going to pick a category. We're going to say J.R. Fisher. Now, I don't have a tag for this test. Now, if I did, I could just scroll through here and pick a tag because these are all the tags I've made. You can see there's a bunch of them, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new tag. And the tag is going to be inner circle test okay so we're going to keep all this the same uh and i'm going to call that the description too let's put that in there okay so now what i've done essentially is i've created a tag here as soon as i hit create um category you you either pick a category and they just really started adding these categories so i don't have a whole lot in categories but i'm going to say no category in particular right here now that would let me create it at that point but there's a couple cool things you can do so let's say you are marketing to these people and it's the inner circle you know uh, membership and I, I know you guys are in the inner circle so you get this but it's the inner circle membership and let's say that you know they did not join the inner circle okay so why didn't they join it well maybe they didn't feel like they had enough expertise maybe they had things going on in their family maybe they were on vacation maybe they didn't have enough money but the point is maybe at a later date they would actually join the inner circle so with that in mind what we could do down here is for this tag is we could click we could say it expires after you know let's say 90 days so maybe we want to send them to the sequence again in 90 days and that way this tag would expire i'm gonna go ahead and click create and after 90 days is gone and they have this tag then of course they could start all over again okay if, if you wanted to do that so i'm going to click add this tag right here okay lead is assigned tag inner circle test so we could actually put that tag back on them again it would expire or if you wanted, it would stay on them forever, okay, if you want to do it that way. So we're going to go ahead and click Save. So we've got a starting tag now, uh, and it's Inner Circle Test. And let's say they opted in for some information about the Inner Circle, and we would tag them Inner Circle Test. So that's what we've done. So what do we want to do after that? Well, we've got them tagged. We need to build our sequence. So after we do this here, let's say we want to... Um, do a split and we want to check them out first to make sure they're not buyers so we're going to put a split right here and we're going to say right after the previous step or wait a number of days or hours or wait to a specific date we're just going to say right after okay because we want this email sequence to start right away so i'm going to click next i'm going to run it every single day of the week and let's say i want to run it right after lunch okay so we're going to run it uh let's say at 1300 to 1359 a lot of people check their email right after lunch, so it's a great time to do that. I'm going to click Next. Now, split conditions. So I'm going to say has tag, all right, uh, and we're going to put it under JR Fisher category because I think it is in there. And we're going to say, uh, let me find one down here inner circle buyer so if they've already bought the inner circle we don't want them to get these emails okay so i'm going to click right here and add it so we're saying that if they have the tag inner circle buyer that's the question we're asking and then we're going to create this particular split test now i'm going to drag this right underneath here so we keep it nice and clean and neat so we've got a true and a false if it's true if they do have inner circle buyer what that means is they bought and this whole sequence here is to get them to buy. So we don't want to keep sending it to people who already bought. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag over this complete and put that right underneath. Kind of right underneath. Let me get it over here. There we go. Okay. And it's inactive right now. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Now you'll notice none of these things are connected yet. Okay. So I've got these boxes here, but nothing happens until you connect them. So I'm going to connect this one to my split test, okay? So now it's gonna ask the split test, but then nothing's gonna happen until I connect it true. If it's true, 
I'm going to complete them because I don't want to keep sending them emails if they already bought. Does it make sense? Now, if you want to clean this up, you can click right up here uh, and you can arrange horizontally. But you can arrange your items here. So I'm just going to go ahead and arrange the items. And what that does is keep it like that. It's nice and straight. If it's false, what we want to do is we want to send these people an email. Now, they haven't gotten an email yet. All we've done is tag them and asked if they've already bought this product. So we're going to go over here. We're going to click send email. Now, we have a decision here. When do we want to send this email? Um, this is kind of a dilemma for people because they're like, do I do the split test first? And do I delay the split test? Do I delay the email? You always want to delay the split test after you've sent them an email to get them to buy something. And the reason being is if you do the split test immediately after you send them an email without waiting, okay, what's going to happen is they haven't had a chance to buy. They won't be tagged. You're going to end up sending them another email uh, to buy that product again, and they may have already bought. So on my next split, I'm going to wait a day to give them a chance to buy this item here. But in this case here, I'm going to say right after because this is the beginning of the sequence. So if you have questions about that, you can ask. So when do I want to do it? I want to run it every day. I want to run it at 1300. And it's going to give you a span here every single time of about an hour because it doesn't always go out exactly at that time. I'm going to click next. And I'm going to say uh, inner circle uh, test. And I'm just going to call it two. That way we know what that email is. And we'll click next. Okay. Now, right here is where you're going to want to change your email. So I'm going to put this one training. Okay, so I got my email in there. Send if. Okay, so once again, send if. If they have a tag, okay. Okay, so it's going to ask me send if. If they don't have the tag, JRF, right there. And go down to inner circle. Inner circle buyer, okay? If they don't have that tag, we're going to go ahead and send this email to them. So I'm going to add that. Okay. And you can click this here too. This is GDPR notice. Include this in communication leads who have not agreed to receive communications from you. So that's, that's up to you what you want to do there. And you can read the little info box on that one. So I'm going to click next. Now, do I want to do a split test email or single email? I'm just going to do a single email for the purpose of this demonstration. I'll click next. Now, this is where I have an opportunity to write my email. So I'm going to put inner circle test. Oops. And now this is pretty cool here. What it allows you to do is when you when you have all your emails in your inbox, you can see one sentence of the email. So I may say, um, this is the best email ever. Now, obviously, I wouldn't use that. But a couple of things you could do. I like putting emojis here. If you're on an Apple, uh, you just hit Control, Command, and Space Bar. If you're on a PC, I feel sorry for you. So you can, you can put whatever you want right there. I put a little check mark. It makes my email stand out a little bit in the subject line. And then I put uh, their email here, and I may do hey. And if I want to do that first name here, I just put in first underscore name. And it's going to pull their name from their record. And then I put a uh, body here of your email, whatever you want to say. And then I'm going to click next. Cool. And now I've created that next step. So let's drag this down here. And let's hook these two up. And let's go ahead and activate this email. Okay, so let me straighten it real quick. So what have we got? Well, we had this first tag that started the sequence. 
we split tested to make sure they didn't buy that product, okay? So if they bought it, we took them out immediately. If they didn't buy it, they went to the first email. So then what we do is we bring over another split, okay? Because we've sent an e we sent them an email to buy this inner circle, okay? And you guys are in the inner circle, so you understand this. But we sent them over here. Now, the split is going to be right after the previous step. No, we don't want to do that because if we just sent them an email to buy something, they haven't had a chance to buy it yet. So we don't want to immediately send them an email and then uh, ask if they bought it or not. We want to wait, okay? So what we generally do is we wait the amount of time that we're going to wait on email. So if you're going to send them another email a day later, you just put one day here. We click next. We put our times. And of course, you can pick any time of day if you want, or you can do this. I like doing this because usually after lunch, people are a little bit more receptive to reading their emails. I click next and split conditions. If they don't have the tag, uh, J.R. Fisher, and we want inner circle buyer. Okay, we're going to add that. We're going to create this. So we've got this split now. So let me move my split over here. I'm going to connect these two. If it's true, okay, if they have that tag, inner circle buyer, we don't want to send them the next email because that's the one where we try to sell it to them. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a complete over here, take them out of the sequence. There we go. I've got to kind of line this up, kind of anal about this. All righty. And then we're going to go ahead and activate it. And let me straighten it up one time. Okay. So let's look at what we built so far. We had a starting rule. We asked if they were already a buyer. If they were a buyer, we took them out. If they weren't a buyer, we sent them an email. We waited a day. We asked once again, did they buy from that email yesterday? If they did buy, we took them out. If they didn't, right, we sent them another email. So we're going to drag one more email over here. And right after the next step, yes, because remember we put our delay in the split, not the email. And we're going to pick our time again. We're going to make it 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to call this enter circle. Test three. Next. Oh, don't forget to change your, your from and to emails right here. I didn't do that, so let me put that in there. All right, and you can just copy this. Paste it over here. This is your uh, send from email and your reply to email. So it's going to show where it came from. And then if they reply back, it'll go to this email. Click next, recipients. All right. If they um, do not have a tag, right, the inner circle buyer, then we want to send it to them because they haven't bought yet. They need to do that. Like you. Guys, we had a little glitch there in what's playing. Hang on one second here. This is happening a lot. I think we're going to move over to Zoom. Let me get back here to my screen. Give me one second. Sorry about that. Every now and then, this PowerPoint thing just dies on us, and we don't know why. So give me one second here. There we go but not really. There we are. Okay. Coaching call fell down. Just fell down. It was running along and it tripped and fell. All right. So let's get right back to where we were at. And we were right here. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. I want to show you how easy it is to do split tests. Let me... That is the wrong one, I think.
Yeah, there it is. Okay. There's book interest. This obviously is not a real split test. I'll click add and I'll click next. And then there's the link to it. So if I copy this link now and don't let this fool you because sometimes you think, well, every time I put the link in there, it's going to go to the other page. It doesn't work that way. It may send you there 10 times to one page and then seven times to the other page and then four times the other page. So overall, after it goes through, you know, a thousand people, it's going to be pretty much 50 50, but it doesn't mean that every time you paste that link, plus the fact that if you get cookie, you may end up with that one anyhow. So let me just click on that and it takes me to one of those pages and it's really that. Guys, this is showing the wrong one. Give me one second here. I really apologize for this, but sometimes you have glitches and I have one right now that says recovered file. That's not what I want. I want to open this one. This is what happens when you do this stuff live. So in the meantime, while I'm getting this fixed here, uh, talk to Jessica. Is there anybody to talk to in the comment section? So please talk to her. Yeah, so put in your questions in the comments. Yeah, if you have any questions as we're going through this, please put it in the comment section. I think that is the one we want. Um, go ahead and put in the comment section what you're doing right now for emails to your list, or if you have a list that you're emailing, let us know. Yeah. Put that in the comment section while I'm bumping this thing back up here. And I do have it back up, so I'm almost good to go now. One second. All right. There you want, or you can do this. I like doing this because usually after lunch, people are a little bit more receptive to reading their emails. I click next. And split conditions. If they don't have the tag. Uh, J.R. Fisher, and we want inner circle buyer. Okay, we're going to add that. We're going to create this. So we've got this split now. So let me move my split over here. I'm going to connect these two. If it's true, okay. If they have that tag, Inner Circle Buyer, we don't want to send them the next email because that's the one where we try to sell it to them. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a complete over here. Take them out of the sequence. There we go. I've got to kind of line this up. Kind of ain't all about this. All righty. And then we're going to go ahead and activate it. And let me straighten it up one time. Okay, so let's look at what we built so far. We had a starting rule. We asked if they were already a buyer. If they were a buyer, we took them out. If they weren't a buyer, we sent them an email. We waited a day. We asked once again, did they buy from that email yesterday? If they did buy, we took them out. If they didn't, right, we sent them another email. So we're going to drag one more email over here. And right after the next step, yes, because remember, we put our delay in the split, not the email. And we're going to pick our time again. We're going to make it one o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to call this inner circle test three. Next. Oh, don't forget to change your, your from and to emails right here. I didn't do that, so let me put that in there. All right, and you can just copy this, paste it over here. This is your uh, send from email and your reply to email. So it's going to show where it came from. And then if they reply back, it'll go to this email. Click next recipients. All right. If they um, do not have a tag, right? The inner circle buyer, then we want to send it to them because they haven't bought yet. They need to do that like you guys. So there we go. Because you know how valuable it is. Why would you not? So we click next. And if we want to do a split test, we could. I'm doing a single email. I don't want to make this tutorial too complicated. Then, of course, we put our subject. I'm just going to put test here. Test. Move. Test and test. 
I have other videos on writing emails and you'll want to watch those so you understand what you want to put in here. And then we click create. All right, I'm going to move this right underneath where the false is. In other words, they're not buyers yet. And then I'm going to activate it. And then I'm going to connect it. Now, sometimes I, I see people and they say, well, my, my sequence isn't working. It's not working. I go in there and they haven't connected this. So you got to make sure you connect it. So let's get kind of a broad view here. So what we've done at this point here is we've started something. We asked if they bought. If they had already bought, we took them out. If they didn't buy, we sent them an email. And if after that, we wait one day and we split. We asked, did they buy? If they did buy, we take them out. If they didn't buy, we put them over here. We sent them another email. Okay. And that's what we've done. So we've essentially really just sent a couple emails here. Um, but you could run this on for, you know, a few days. You could do like three in one day. You could do whatever you want. But this is basically the sequence. Now, once you've set this up, every time somebody uh, joins your list, let's say they opted in for some PDF or whatever, um, you're going to automate them getting this tag here. Now, maybe they'll get this tag right up front because you want them to go through the sequence right up front. Or maybe you want them to go through a couple content ones. And when they end the content ones, you could add this tag to them and then it would start this sequence. So that's basically all there is to it. You know, really, Kartra is the genius behind this because all you got to do is drag all this stuff over. And there's several other things here on the side. If you want to unsubscribe, let me just go through this real quick. Um, if you want to send them an SMS, you could do that. So you could text them. If you want to remove tags, you could do that. If you want to unsubscribe them from a list, you know, you could do that. Or unsubscribe them from a sequence, you could also do that. If you want to put some automations in here, you could do that. If you want to, you know, we did the split. Uh, if you want them to go somewhere, we could do that. If you want to wait, we could do that. And of course, we did the complete. So there's a lot of possibilities here, a lot of choices for you. And if you use Kartra, it's just going to make your life so much easier, so much easier. So that's what I recommend. If you have any questions on it, feel free to ask me. And that is the automation email sequences within Kartra. Okay, guys, that was pretty cool, I think. I think Kartra is pretty cool. And I promised you the link. Now, this is the link you would use if you want to get Kartra for a buck, one dollar. Um, that JR there where it says dash JR, that is uppercase so you'll want to do that. And when you go to this page, you don't have to buy anything or do anything. What it will do is it will play a video for you, and it will show you all the things that Kartra does. But I can tell you for a fact, because I've used like ClickFunnels, and I've used you know Aweber, and I've used Infusionsoft, and I've used Plus This, and I've used different help desk stuff. And I, I can tell you, for the price you pay at Kartra, it is so much cheaper. It will save you so much money. And you also want to be careful because a lot of these email providers, let's say MailChimp or something like that, they seem cheap in the beginning, but then what happens as soon as your list gets built a little bit, it gets really, really expensive. Um, Kartra is not like that. They give you a lot of spend in the beginning, and it's it's still not more expensive if you go over your limit. So I would highly recommend it. Go to bit.ly forward slash Kartra, K-A-R-T-R-A dash J-R uppercase. So now let's get into the rest of our presentation. So uh, if you aren't a member of our inner circle and you were invited today, you will want to check it out. You just go to jrinnercircle.com forward slash enroll, and you can actually um, watch a video there and see all you get included. One of the things that's included is this coaching call you're on right now. We invite some people from the outside every now and then to come in and join us, and it's nice to have you here. Uh, but uh, you may want to check it out if you really want to move your business forward. You're 12 times more likely to succeed as a member of our inner circle or something like that that's out there um, than if you just go it on your own. If you go it on your own, the thing is it, you may or may not make it. I don't know. I can't tell you. Um, you're more likely to make it with the inner circle, and it will happen faster because you're, you're going to get all your questions answered. You can contact us. You get access to like $46,000 worth of courses, and it doesn't hardly cost you anything. So you want to check that out. Now, um, I do get the question asked, you know, what, what can I submit? You know, if I'm a member of the Inner Circle, you can submit your ads, landing pages, websites, products, pricing. We'll help you with all these things, funnels, all the things you're working on, your emails, your subject line, any ideas, your frustrations, failures, and successes. We will be there for you. So, you know, when you join the Inner Circle, all these things are covered. 
Uh, and that is the trial uh, right there. It's a $1 trial if you go to bit.ly forward slash Kartra dash uppercase JR. I love it. I love Kartra. You saw how easy it was to use. You saw the presentations. Now we're going to get into a few uh, questions. Uh, and what I want you to do, guys, is um, if you have tried to do a funnel, uh, if you've tried to do an email sequence, I want you to post that in the comments and put in there what results you got. Um, in the comment section also, tell me what software you're using now uh, and what are the results you're getting of the software you're using now. Um, in addition to that, if you have any questions on this email sequence I built today that you watched me build right in front of you, you know, if you were afraid of that, put, you know, put the questions in there that you have about email sequences. Jessica is monitoring that. She's going to read those off. Um, I am starting to see some questions already. And if you're not posting them in there, guys, make sure you post them in there. It's really important um, so that, you know, we know how to help you. Because if we don't know how to help you, I can't help you. Um, somebody is asking, and you're, you're not going to see all the comments in the section there, guys. Just want to let you know that. But um, somebody is asking, do we have to have email sequences? Um, you don't have to have email sequences. However, do you want to go and write emails every single day? Or do you want to write them one time and figure out what works and just apply it to everybody as they go through the funnel? So that's the whole point in the email sequence is it's automated and you don't have to write these emails all the time. Uh, Jessica is going to read off a couple of your questions there. Make sure you stick them in real quick because we're about to end this call. And if I don't get to your question, you'll miss out. So, um, Jessica, what question do you have for me on your side over there? Um, well, the first question, uh, Jeff is asking if there will be a replay. Um, there will be. Um, what, what we're going to do on this, and who asked that? Jeff. 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 Did you know JR stands for Jeff? I often don't share that. Wait, often don't share. That's a double negative or something like that. I never share that, okay? But that is uh, what J stands for is Jeff. Uh, and only one person's allowed to call me Jeff and she's sitting next to me now. So don't call me Jeff. Just don't do it. Don't do it. But the question is, is, was, what was the question? <laughs> I'm so sidetracked today. Will there be a replay? Will there be a replay? Yes. Um, and I'm really working on my YouTube channel. And I, the reason I mentioned YouTube is because uh, we are working on the YouTube channel. Uh, Jessica is going to put a link to the YouTube uh, channel over there for me. So I want you to go and subscribe. If you want a lot of training, and I mean a lot of training, uh, I mean, you can literally go through my YouTube channel and start and run and grow your business. That's what it's designed for. We are literally putting up five videos a week, and the replay for the coaching call will be the sixth day. So for five days a week, I'm putting up new content every single day, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can learn how to start, run, and grow your business. We've sold millions of dollars online, guys, and I'm sharing with you what we did to do this, uh, and you can get it for free. Uh, it's hard work. I'm not going to tell you it's not hard work. You know, any of these gurus who are saying you can make money and work four hours a week and you're going to be a millionaire, they're just full of crap. It's just not true. But the flip side of that is if you work hard, you really can make millions of dollars online. So, you know, if you want to do that, go through my YouTube channel. Uh, and then on Saturdays, um, the coaching call will be posted every week. You're going to see a new coaching call go up there on Saturdays. And during the week at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you're going to see all of uh, the new training that you will not see on Facebook. You will not see it in the inner circle. It's nowhere. It's just over there on the YouTube channel. So you, you want to check that out. Um, questions, Jessica? Do you have any more over there? Or are we getting ready to head out for lunch? Um, so let's see. Uh, Karen is asking if you can do all of this in AWeber because she has AWeber. Karen is asking if we can do all this in AWeber. The answer is no, you cannot. Um, you can do some stuff in AWeber, uh, but there's, I mean, you just, Kartra has so much more. And let me tell you something about AWeber. And I, and I'm, I like AWeber. Don't get me wrong. I had AWeber. I used AWeber. Um, it would cost you more in AWeber than it would in Kartra. And you're going to get seven more pieces of software. So if that interests you, I would definitely check out that $1 trial because literally, um, and, and as soon as you build your list up in AWeber, you know, you get a few thousand people, you're going to pay way more than what Kartra is, and you're not going to get all the other things that Kartra does. So that, that's the shame of it, but it's the truth. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. We've been going a pretty long time today. I do apologize for the glitch in the middle there. Um, that happens every now and then, you know, um, not much you can do about it, but that's the way it is. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure you join my group, Art of E-Commerce Success. 
uh, and um, let me know if I can help you in any way. Put any comments, questions in the group. Join the e-commerce success. Make sure you like the page, which is JR Fisher Marketing. Check me out on YouTube. Jessica has posted a link there, and I will talk to you real soon. Jessica, you have any words of wisdom for these people on this fine Friday afternoon in sunny California? Um, just enjoy your weekend, but don't forget to work on your goals. Work, work on your goals. your goals. Yeah, the weekend is when everybody else uh, kind of shuts down, and this is your opportunity to actually make something happen. And I'm not saying work seven days a week, though I do do some work seven days a week. Uh, I am saying that time when everybody else is watching TV and bowling and watching movies and doing all that stuff, uh, work on your goals, guys. You got to work towards them. I'll talk to you real soon. Thanks so much for listening and I will see you next week. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.